Jackass is a global phenomenon. But if Johnny Knoxville had gotten his way, he might not have lived to see its great success. Here's how the Jackass superstar was stopped from blowing his own guts out. It's safe to say that the age-old lesson of knowing your limits was never entirely understood by the Jackass crew. In their latest big screen outing, Jackass Forever, Johnny Knoxville and the rest of his team were back, breaking limits and themselves for our entertainment. However, it seems that this was the installment that finally gave Knoxville the wake-up call he needed, albeit one he received from the comfort of an ambulance stretcher. He's getting back. He's coming too. He's coming, buddy. Yeah. He's coming too. That was a violent brawl. One-sided, to be sure. Following filming, Knoxville admitted that he was ending his stunt career after suffering severe injuries, including a brain hemorrhage for the film. After taking that major hit during the movie's bull stunt, it was a reassuring revelation that he was finally calling it a day. Speaking to Variety during the release of Jackass Forever, the stunt star admitted, My family doesn't like me doing this type of thing. This is the most wicked bull hit I've ever taken. While turning down another round with a bull seems like a no-brainer, there were far more deadly plans that never came to fruition in the early years of Jackass. Director and producer Jeff Tremaine recalled one idea he thankfully thwarted, which could have taken out Knoxville for good. During an appearance on The Nine Club, Tremaine talked about stopping Knoxville from a deadly stunt and going to drastic lengths to ensure it wouldn't be done. This is the only bit that I shut down during Jackass. According to Tremaine, the plan was to have Knoxville get shot with beanbag bullets he had purchased himself off the internet. According to Tremaine, Knoxville found a stuntman who was willing to, well, shoot Knoxville with the bullets. They got as far as drawing a target on Knoxville's stomach before Tremaine proposed pumping the brakes. And I'm like, hold on, like, <laughs> I want to shoot one before we... Let's test this. Let's yeah. test this. Okay. Truly test it. Yeah. From there, they grabbed a watermelon and a piece of plywood to use as target practice with one of the three rounds Knoxville had purchased. The watermelon did not survive. It just didn't even move the watermelon. It just went right through the watermelon, right through the plywood behind it. <laughs> Tremaine was concerned, so decided to next test the beanbag bullets against two pieces of plywood, ending with the same result. According to the director, the jackass poster boy didn't even bat an eye, saying, Look, we only have one more. We're here. Let's just do it. Tremaine made a last stand and replied that he was taking the cameras, denying Knoxville the opportunity to blow his guts out for the audience at home. First grown-up decision I made. This may have been one occasion where the voice of reason did win the day, but there was another instance where Knoxville did find himself on the receiving end of a firearm. It was a feat that became one of the first daring steps into making Jackass the world-famous phenomenon we know it to be today. The difference here was the added and unorthodox protection used during the stunt. During an extensive oral history shared with The Hollywood Reporter, the Jackass team talked about one of their deadliest stunts that, had it gone wrong, would have ended their iconic journey before it even began. It saw Knoxville testing pepper spray, a taser gun, and a 38 caliber handgun on himself in a self-defense study. Thankfully, some safety measures were taken. Knoxville explained, I found the cheapest bulletproof vest they had on the market. When the time came for Knoxville to pull the trigger on himself, since no one else wanted to do it, Tremaine admitted, we started getting cold feet about the bulletproof vest. That was so scary to me, especially because he got the cheapest one on the market. As extra reassurance, the director wedged in a stack of magazines behind the bulletproof vest, and then the test was on. Knoxville later said of the experience, it's like someone took a shovel and hit you in the chest as hard as they could. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.